Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to our chill Minecraft Let's Play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't expect this. Um, last episode, we found a fake, um, dungeon. Yeah. Found a fake dungeon, and, uh... Got lost. Well, I mean, we we are following the cobblestone trail, but I have no idea where we're going other than that. For all I know, we could have just been walking in a big circle this entire time. But, uh... Whew. Sorry. It's a bit late, but... It's fine. I completely blanked on what I was just talking about, but eh, whatever. You're probably used to it by now. Oh boy. Did I find the Tunnel that we mined out for uh, the achievement feels like it. <gasps> oh, it's the end. I think this is that tunnel. All right, let's oh, let's go back. Fun. You know, since we found that like fake Nether fortress, I'm just gonna go back to the overworld and see what that's all like now. Oh, sorry. the longest time my microphone whenever I was recording it would there's a little light on the front of it and it would always be flashing red and I had no idea what that meant I thought that just meant like oh look it's recording so that I just went with that and it only like it only occurred to me when I started doing this series that the red light correlated to when my microphone did that weird thing where it just cuts in and out randomly. Oh yeah, this is looking familiar. Oh! Piggy hurt himself. Don't put gas noise in the ambient sound effects. Ooh, no thanks. I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, this is looking big familiar. <sighs> oh, I thought there was a pig man, which is a block of cobblestone. Well, let's keep going. Maybe we'll have some luck next time with finding another fortress. I hear you. You stay over there. I don't want to deal with you at the moment. Come on, load. 
You got this. Oh, those aren't stairs. Hello. Uh, uh. Come on, you got this. Pull it together, computer. Oh, there's another Enderman. With as long as this nether fortress hunt is taking, I'm uh, considering using the find command. <laughs> find nether fortress. And then it's just like, imagine it's like a million blocks away. That'd be insane. Or maybe find blaze spawner. Because we did find another fortress, which is a really bad one. Ah, uh, designated stretch time. Stretch with me, everyone. Sorry if anyone can hear some rappers. Just got some Easter candy still. I'm just kind of snacking on. Uh, speaking of which, I hope your Easter's were all good. I like chocolate because it makes me motivated to drink more water <clears throat> hold on you probably want to hear that music a bit better there we are I can't snap that well. My palms, I have very, very dry palms. The, a friend of mine, a friend of mine and I joke around that um, with Bakugo's quirk, I'd be practically useless because I don't sweat from my hands basically at all. <laughs> Like, just my fingertips. It's so weird. And even if it is my fingertips, like, not even a lot. It's just, like, the weirdest thing ever. But you want to know what something is that is almost just as weird or maybe even more weird? Yep. I'm going to go with that. His palms, his hands, rather, are just, like exponentially sweaty it's insane it like he well originally how the conversation got started was he he came up to me he was like hey you know bakugo from bnnh the acronym you know and he was and i was like yeah was like you know how his quirk works and i was like yeah and he just like he says I'd be really good with that quirk. And then he just rubs his hand on mine, and it felt like he dipped his hand in water before touching my hand. It was disgusting. But also hilarious. We both physically recoiled at how 
our hands are basically the opposite of each other. My dry hands are also why I very much prefer hand sanitizer over, like, bathroom soap. <laughs> because, like, I'll wash my hands after I go to the bathroom, and they feel like they're going to break. I hate it so much. And so I've just switched to using hand sanitizer, because <laughs> otherwise my hands will, like, literally fall apart. They'll just, like, break. And it feels so weird and so bad and I hate it so much. But, uh, yeah. I also find it weird how I don't have sweaty hands and my mom does have, like, she has really, really sweaty hands, especially when she's, like... Oh, sorry about that. Especially when she's, like, really stressed. Which, like, I understand that happens to a lot of people. Wow, Minecraft is just taking its sweet time loading. Well... I'll take the chance to show you some other stuff I've been working on. Well, not show you, rather just tell you about it. Um, I've been working on Duolingo. That's fun. I'm trying to learn Japanese. Cause, uh, ooh, funny story. So, at our school- what? Oh my god. Well, anyways, at our school, every Wednesday is, like, it's the same schedule, but it's weird. There's this thing we have called academic advisement, and for the past three weeks, I think, I've been going to one that's about choosing the college that you want to go to, which is surprising that I chose that because I don't want to go to college. Well, not bad. I I want to go to college, but I don't know. I just I need a break. This year has been so stressful and I want to do so much more stuff than I'm actually capable of doing and I have just stretched myself completely thin this year. I have made a lot of mistakes but hey that's how you learn right? So I'll look back on this. Yeah this is what I want. I'll look back on this and thank myself for doing this maybe I don't know can't see my cursor now because it's black well on that screen I don't know it's white on my screen well actually I have it set to this setting <laughs> where the cursor is and op the opposite color of whatever color, of whatever the color, of whatever it's ho hovering over is. Like, right now, it's black for you. I don't know why, but it's white for me. <sighs> but, uh, unfortunately, that's all the time we had for today. Sorry, it was mostly just loading and talking about whatever. Um, I'll continue the... You know, no, I'll just tell you about it now. In academic advisement, I... Oh, 
Glass looks nice. I signed up for this thing that was all about choosing the college that you want to go to. And I told our academic advisor person that my mom, if I wasn't going to go to college, she at least wanted me to move away from where I am living right now because different experiences, all that good stuff, new people, whatnot. And, uh, so I said to her, well, how about Japan? And she actually brought an idea to my attention. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna have to, like... Minecraft ain't liking this. I'll fix this off camera. Maybe. But, um... She brought an idea to my attention that I actually really like. It is to... No, you're not escaping. Oh, dang it. Give me the egg. And that idea is to actually teach English in Japan. Because I've always had... <clears throat> I've always been interested in Japan and Japanese culture and the language. I just love it. I don't know why. But I do. And I did a project all about it. Not all about it, but just main overview of Japan and Japanese culture. I did that in the 8th grade. And that is what really, really sparked my interest for the country. Um, fast forward to two years later, yeah. This year, but earlier this year, school year, so 2018. I did a project about, ooh, I don't like the new furnaces. They just don't look right. But I did a project about <sighs> Japanese cuisine and the culture surrounding cuisine and it had to be one of my best projects hands down it was like I put the most into it. I was like super enthusiastic about it the entire time. I learned how to make some absolutely amazing dishes in the time. There's um there's a dish that I made for for my pre for my presentation that my mom just absolutely loved. And I'm I'm 90% sure that it was the udon noodles. I have a I have a recipe on top of my fridge for the dish, so I'll make sure to, like, put it in the description or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll put the link in or something. It's really good. I suggest anyone to make it. Anyways, so. That's actually 
all the time we have for today. Uh, yeah. Leave some feedback in the comments below. Don't, I don't even know what I just said. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at the new updates to Discord while recording, which is not a very good idea, but... Um, leave some feedback in the comments below so I know how I can improve. And, um... Yeah. Have a good time. I'll see you around.